Judy is directed by Rupert Gould and stars Renee Zellweger as Judy Garland and the film takes place in the final year of her life when, after struggling with money problems, substance abuse, a waning career and wanting to hold on to her two young children, she agrees to perform in a succession of appearances in a London nightclub. I don't know very much about Judy Garland. I know she played Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz and she was in one of the A Star Is Born movies and that she's Lucille Two's mother. No amount of money can bring your husband back from the dead. <laughs> the trailers looked okay and Zellweger seemed like she was going to be a lot of fun in the film but my early prediction was that this was going to be this year's Bohemian Rhapsody or Darkest Hour, an amazing lead performance with a not quite so amazing movie wrapped around it but I can say that I liked those performances and those movies more than I liked this. Zellweger is really good in the part, especially since she looks less like Judy Garland than she does a character from Neil Gaiman's Sandman comics. She's a sassy character but not really funny and in the scenes where she's not too drunk to sing, Zellweger performs them really well. I thought the singing scenes were very entertaining. I don't know how accurate the performance is. I've never seen Judy Garland in any film other than The Wizard of Oz, let alone seen footage of her in real life. And I was right in my thinking that this film is only all about this performance and the story around it is not a really interesting one or told in a particularly interesting way. The interesting movie, the one you really want to see, is the glimpse in brief flashbacks to Garland's childhood during the production of The Wizard of Oz and the way she was treated by the studio and Louis B. Mayer. Any other character who appears doesn't really have much going on. Jesse Buckley's disapproving handler character has nothing going on other than to look at Garland with different shades of annoyance and then pity depending on how far into the runtime we are. There are a lot of situations that take place where I was supposed to be on Judy Garland's side and feeling bad for her but I wasn't. Like when the hotel she's staying at gives up her room because she can't pay her bill. Or when her ex-husband Rufus Sewell says that he doesn't want their kids living with her. Or when Michael Gambon and Jesse Buckley get pissed at her because she won't and or can't perform the show that they have paid her a lot of money to perform at. These people are all reacting in the most appropriate and responsible way and I always side with them against Garland. And that's saying a lot because her ex-husband is Jasper from The Holiday. I wish you could just accept knowing how confused I am about all this. The only time I was on her side was when the audience started booing and heckling her but that felt really over the top. These were moments where I should have been squirming with embarrassment or pity. You know like when Bradley Cooper pisses himself on stage in his version of A Star Is Born. But it just felt so unreal. Do audiences who go to see live musical performances really heckle the performer like they're a stand-up comedian? This is fucking Judy Garland, not the marvellous Mrs. Maisel. And they throw things at her when she trips over the microphone wire on the stage. Like, yeah, she's drunk, but for fuck's sake, someone help her up. I mean, I get it. She was treated badly as a child, and now she's a mess, and that's the story. There's nothing really interesting. There's just that very simple connection. There's nothing about her struggling with the knowledge that, yes, it was horrible how I was treated during that time in my life, but the result is that that film and I will never be forgotten, in part because of it. Is that something that she wants? The final line of the film would seem to suggest so and that's the excuse that Louis B. Mayer seems to be using to keep her in line during The Wizard of Oz but the only connection we get to feel is the pills that she keeps taking. They were forced on her then and she still takes them now to the detriment of her health. We're told the pills stop her from feeling the pangs of hunger when she's starving herself but they also prevent her from sleeping and the pills she takes as an adult also keep her awake. Are they the same pills? Why is she still taking them? Are they addictive? And how does she feel about the showbiz industry? Does she hate it or is she depressed that she's not exactly a big player in it anymore? The film should have either been about a different part of her life or at least explored more of her character in this story. One thing I think could have made it work more would have been if her kids had been there in London with her or it had just been in the film a bit more than they were seeing as her main drive behind doing this London show was to be able to live with her kids. And if they had been in it more and I got to see more of the relationship with their mother I might have cared more because of what we see of her it seems clear that she should not be caring for children. It's all just the usual sort of thing. The price of fame, the alcohol, the drugs, the ridiculously poorly thought out decisions to get married. You know the usual and it's all very depressing and dreary. I'm going to give Judy a C plus. It is a great performance and I would be surprised if Zellweger didn't get an Oscar nomination but this just wasn't a particularly memorable character. If you want something with a similar story I'd recommend you check out Stan and Ollie for which I did one of my first reviews. 
It has a lot of the same story elements, but it's funny and it's sad and it has heartwarming moments and interest in drama and dynamics between the characters, which is something a bit more than Judy, you're drunk. You're not supposed to be drunk. You're supposed to be on stage. Hey, my childhood was really hard, you guys. Thank you very much for watching my review. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out. It helps the channel grow. Follow me on Twitter at Look to the Movies. Comment down below. Let me know if you've seen Judy, what you thought of it, if you liked it, disliked it, if you agree or disagree with any of my points, or if you have any points of your own. I'll be back soon with more reviews, and I will see you then.